Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Eeb Remake. Previously, we met our old friend Gary in the painting world, and not long after that, we were chased by a bunch of paintings. Adler's statue. Hmm, I can't push it from this side. This strangely patterned rock. It seems like I could move it, but it won't budge. I think we can move that statue out of the way, if we can get around to the other side of it. Milk Puzzle Eve, have you heard of milk puzzles? I have. My, so you have. Well, I'm not very good at them. I tried one once a long time ago, but I couldn't get anywhere with all the pieces looking the same. I got so fed up, I ended up just forcing them all together. That's a spirit. Except then the puzzle popped apart. So I made a real mess. That's the spirit. Fleeting fonts and moonlit night. Sounds very, uh, romantic in a way. So far, the puzzles here seem to be solvable entirely within the same colored area. Perhaps this place were all one color. We would have been running all over the place looking for ants. Is there like a slight meta commentary about the nature of like... The kind of gamey aspect of the rooms. It's like a maze. It seems we can't get over these pointing rocks. Y yeah, I, I don't think we can get over the pointing rocks, Gary. Thank you for uh, pointing that out to me. Oh. There, see? Solved it. This sort of maze is a bit simple for us now, wouldn't you say? It was... kinda hard, or...? Yeah. Indeed. We've solved all sorts of puzzles, after all. So I looked at the description, and, like, I was kinda noticing it too, but, like, it does say, like, oh, they've made... the game a little more simpler and easier. I'm not sure if I'm fully in agreement of that, but we'll see how it plays out as we go. A large mirror. Looking good. After that mannequin incident earlier, I don't much want to look into more mirrors. Really now? Huh. Yeah. Okay, that should do it. I found myself blank, my finger over her blank, beautiful blank. And as she lay there blank, my blank, I... Gary closed the book. I was about to say it. Uh, you should wait until you're older to read this kind of thing. Separation. Anxiety. What an off-putting painting. I think we've just been separated. What? The lights! It's too dark to see. Eeb, are you there? I'm here. That's good to hear. Stay put there, alright. Still, this is a problem. Ah, that's right. I forgot I had a lighter. I noticed all visitors the gallery has a strict ban on fire strain implements. Huh? Wh wh what is this? I don't think this is... <sighs> good for my mental health. Something's around the floor. But I find myself not wanting not to read it. Let's leave quickly. Stop the... The painting fear is the Chad fire. What is that red stuff? Crayon! Oh, okay. Thanks for the door. Oh god! Ah! Whoa, are you okay? Ah, wait. Say, are you... Could you be one of the visitors to the gallery? Ah, as I thought. 
My name's Gary, and this girl here is Eve. We too were at the art gallery, but soon found ourselves lost in this odd place. So now we're working together to try to find a way out. I presume it's the same story for you. I, I was looking to see if there was anyone else too. I wanted to get out, so I... As I thought, well then, would you like to come with us? Huh? It's dangerous to be alone here. Take this. I mean, it's a lot of strange creatures around. So will you come with us? I think it would be best if we all stayed together. Yes. It would be for the best. Yeah, I'll come. That's decided. Oh, what's your name? Mary. There's just something about Mary. Mary, then. Nice to meet you. Mm-hmm. Um, nice to meet you, Eeb. Did I ever tell you my name? Mm-hmm. All right. If a new companion, let's proceed with our spirits high. Yay. Say, Mary. You came from this way, didn't you? Were there any other routes? Routes of the no. I walked a bunch, I'm not sure. Uh, well, for all we know, a path could appear where there was once a wall, like earlier. Though honestly, if it were a straight path, it wouldn't bode well. So will Mary commentate on the old stuff now? Because of this whole, like, Gary button? Let's go way back. Let's hold hands, Eep. Interesting you have that specific dialogue for this area. It's planning my Gary button. But Gary, for example, has like lost his dialogue. It's just, yo, you forget something, you forget something. Hmm. X marks the spot. I don't like this room. Let's leave. Are you a scaredy cat, Gary? I'm not a scaredy cat. <laughs> It's the room to blame for being scary. Stop. The Force of Quarrel. None of those three of us. We may be able to go to places we couldn't before. I mean, I already tried going back, Gary. Can't go back anymore. You said like yourself, like, oh no, too scary. Which one is it really? Ah, oh, that's right. Seeing as Eve and I both have roses. Mary, do you perhaps have a rose as well? Yeah, I do. A yellow rose. Ah, so you do. You two keep those safe. Don't you dare lose it. And don't give it to anyone, then. Wow, Eve's rose is red. My rose is yellow. I like yellow, but I also like pink. Oh, and blue. Learn a lesson, when you? It's fun walking all together. Mary, you were all alone until now. Were you attacked by any artwork? Nope. I was fine. Ah, so you were lucky. Some of the things here will chase after you. If you encounter one, run away immediately. Got it. I love running. <laughs> and then you'll be fine. Flowers of Jealousy. Hmm... Hmm, red eyes. For the love of this painting, this room. Why is it all so unsettling? Ben. Huh? Really? I think it's cute. What? What about this is cute? I just think it is. What about Eeb? It's cute. I want to pet it. Not sure. Not sure. What do you mean, not sure? Well, all right then. At any rate, let's leave this creepy place as quickly as possible. I feel like I'm being watched in here. It makes me restless. Let's quickly check everything we can here, then go to the room on the opposite side. Red eyes. Boom. Rune of the mind. If your mind suffers too much, you will soon start to hallucinate. And in the end, it will break apart. More worrying yet. Is that you will not even be aware of that fact. Ben? Hey, thanks for the key. Grab an ornament. Huh? 
Hello? There's a sound coming from the painting. Huh? That sound's getting closer. Poison Ivy! Something came up from the floor. This seems bad. Get away from the painting. Eve, watch out! Are you two all right? Ah, uh, that scared me. What about Eve? Are you hurt? I'm okay. Oh, thank goodness. With these things in the way, I can't get over there. Breaking them is probably impossible. They're absolutely huge. What to do? Hey, Eve. You got a key in that room, right? Maybe that key opens that door there. You know, the purple door with the purple key. We might find something inside that can break these. So hey, can we go look? Oh, well, I wonder if you'll be okay by yourselves. We'll be fine, right, Eve? The rubber not split up. I think that's probably the more correct choice. Huh? Why not? We'll be back really quick. And I can't think of anything else. I suppose you're right. As reluctant as I am for us to split up. Fine. If you don't find anything, make sure you come straight back, understand? Then we'll reconsider our options. Yeah, got it. Okay, let's go. Be careful, you two. Now I got a Mary button. An E for Mary. Eve, let's hurry up and go. Go, go, go! Let's see if our dialogue changes a little bit. We go back, back. How far back are you gonna go, Eve? Okay, no, you can't go back that far. All right. Um, gotta plow forward. A whole lot of boxes. Bit of something good here. You sure about that? I feel like the only thing we're gonna find is a snake. I bet we could break those spikies if we whack them with this. Way too heavy to move, though. Various paints. A sketch of some strange thing. The old drawing paper. Various art supplies. Hmm? Is there anything useful in here? Huh. There's a palette knife deep in the box. Maybe you can cut those spiky things. <laughs> As if that would work. You're not good with chokes, are you, Eeb? But I think I'll hold on to this. Hmm, you know, just in case. Worn paintbrushes. Hmm, I don't really see anything useful. Maybe we should just go back to Gary for now. Something's happening. What? Huh? That scared me. What happened? I don't like the dark. It's scary not being able to see. I feel like there's like a little deepest lore angle of that statement. Huh, the door. Hmm, that's convenient. Why is that statue there? Wasn't it against the wall just now? Let's move it, Eve. Ready? Heave. I'm a nine-year-old, I can't push this. Uh, no good, it won't even budge. What do we do, Eve? We can't get out. I guess we'll just have to look over this way, Eve. Conveniently. Eve, do you know the circus? It's a place where they throw around lots of balls. They go inside lion's mouth and stuff. I don't think they do that anymore, actually. Sorry, Mary. I want you to have fun, Eve. Come to a fun world without any grown-ups. No, I'm 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 good. I I like being a grown up. No never ever land for me. Fallen star. Clown. <laughs> oh, its nose is sticking out. Look. Hey, free nose. It came off. Phew. It's like I'm back on. When there's something sticking out of a painting, I just want to grab it. Painting that one looks like a swing. We'll be together. You, me, and our friends. Uh, 
I wonder what Gary's doing. Kind of left him behind. Ah, oh, I should have hit the save point. Well, there's gonna be one here. They should have taken their time. I wonder if something happened. Eve, Mary, say something if you can hear me. The two rooms are over. No use. Uh, I knew I should have let them go alone. What now? I suppose I'll investigate that room again. As much as I hate to go back in there. Yeah, I'm not... I, I don't necessarily think the, the menu art and the menu in general is, like, better. I, I like the older one better because I feel like it looked a little more, like, painting. This looks like an actual, like, RPG menu. Hmm. Disturbing doll. Disturbing doll. Red eyes. No matter how I look at, this is not cute. Nothing note here. Oh, this bookshelf. It's been pushed. Secret. Why, it moves. Why didn't I notice that earlier? Oh well. I can go out this way. You guys aren't gonna attack me? Sure. I'm cool with that. There is no exit, there is no reason. The floor has a strangely shaped indent in it. The paint's got an eye on it. What is it looking at? Hmm. This is my guess. This one? Yes. The green painting came down. Eve, look, there's a bridge now. Can I can I cross, buddy? What are you doing, Eve? Come on, let's cross. Guess so. The paintings are pretty nice. Here, take this, Gary. Yay. I... don't necessarily remember this. Wow, what's this place? Hey, Abe. Can I ask you something? Is Gary your dad? Nope. Hmm. So your dad is somebody else. Huh. Is your mom nice, Abe? Not when she's mad. <laughs> she gets mad at you, Weeb. You want to see your parents again soon, right? I want to get out soon, too. Hey, so, Eeb, if only two of us could get out of here, what would you do then? I'll leave with Gary, I'll leave with you, Mary. Why are you asking that? Huh? Uh, I don't know. Just cause. You know, just wondering about what you might do if that happened. I was curious, that's all. Whatever, let's get going. You up to something, Mary? Up to some Mary stuff? Apologies to all the Marys watching this video. <laughs> the blank a blank of stars. The night sky's so pretty. I can hardly believe there's so many white specks up there. We get out. Let's count how many there are together. Big room. I remember that painting. Heavenly Fred. Lots of paintings. Let's take a look. Actually, let's. Because, you know, there's a Chivo tied to this. Worry. Telltale. Skin and blank. Fisherman. There's nobody there, though. Two of one flesh, a working combination. 
The paintings connect together. How fun. Aren't you, uh... You're kind of like the clock. Guardian of the door. Writing appeared in the mirror. Answer the name of the painting. If you correct, I will open the door. What if I get it wrong? It just names the paintings, right? Sounds fun, let's do it. Shame. Yeah, might as well. Let's go for it. Well then. Which is the title of this painting? Heavenly Fred. Correct. <laughs> Way to go, Eeb. Huh? There's more? Um, this one I wasn't fully paying attention to. Ow. Oof, that was wrong. Oh, that's a pain that's not in this area. Yeah, that's why I would forget it. Correct. Yeah, he wins. As promised, I will open the door. Kind of cramped. It's a room full of books. Girl's demise. Once upon a time, there was a little girl. The girl went with to an art gallery with her parents. All of a sudden, the girl realized that she was lost. She searched for the dim gallery, but found neither her parents nor the exit. Scared, helpless, lonely, hungry, and thirsty, she fell and hurt herself. And at her body's limit. The last page has an illustration of a collapsed girl. Me? Click the works at Gratena. Contains paintings by Gratena, organized by letter. L page. Lady in red. It was said that Gratena bases on a lover he had at the time, but he has denied this claim. I thought there's bad implications of like the painting based on your lover likes to burst out of the wall and try to murder you. <laughs> The truth, Gratena based it around the blank, woman attempted to blank him for his inheritance. Well, yeah, see, technically it is correct, right? The fish. Though grayscale, this curious piece makes clever use of shading and angles to give the impression of color. The blank detail put into even the scales, rider and emotions and people. Juggling. A work based on a juggler Gratena saw at the circus with his grandchild. It's extremely rare for the Gratina to use real people as models. This piece is highly valuable. Some large rolled up paper. I'm rolling, it's a painting. But what's a painting of? What should we do with this? Should we take it? It goes with the, uh... Thing over there. The weird snake... Thing. The door's locked. Lady without her umbrella. Can we find you an umbrella? There's stuff here, too. <laughs> so much to do. Painting high on the wall. Hmm, I can't reach it. If only had Gary here. Square rock. This one's the only regular rock? Weird. A creature you've seen in a textbook. I know this one. I saw in a book. It said it went extinct a long time ago. So, like, what's extinct anyway? Um, it's that thing when someone doesn't have enough money. A snail. It's like a big lollipop. Oh, you don't want to mess with giant snails. I've seen that Johnny Gito manga. A hermit crab. That sharp end looks like it hurt. Dried up life forms. What's this place? There's no color. Um, we've gone back to the age of Steamboat Willie. There's a rainbow in the canvas. A folding palette and brush. It's like there's someone there. This place is weird. How do we color it in? Can't see the bottom. Did you just blink at me? That makes me worried. Hey, doesn't that weird painting we picked up look kind of like these snake ones? Maybe this was a failed attempt. Hmm? Replace these snake paintings? Which one do you want to swap out? The belly. Now it looks like it swallowed something. Let's put this extra one to the side. Let's go to Gary. Oops! Scary. Hmm. 
Nice. Hello there, Gary. I don't like being alone, so take me with you. A disturbing doll. Nah, you're good. Hey, why aren't you taking me? Nah, you good. Why are you ignoring me? Do you hate me? Nah, you're good. Hey, play with me. There are lots of fun things we can do. You don't even have a Nintendo. I've got lots of friends, too. I'll introduce you. Nope. Be here forever. Nope. Gah. How long are you going to follow me? Enough of this. I'm busy here. And I'm not going to be your buddy, friend. At times like this, it's best to ignore it. There's no keyhole, the door must open some other way. Take me. Nope. Hey, look, a ball. What's this now? Some kind of ball. Colors. Ah, oh, it vanished. For the black and white room, probably. Oh yeah, the snake. Sake. Two and flesh work in combination. I'm afraid I can only see one, though. Is there something in the snake's belly? The heart. Surely it's artificial, right? Deaths. I'll follow you forever. My home is just nearby. Click the seven colored balls of paint, then the path shall surely open. Balls of paint? You mean that the ball that vanished earlier? Truly, why does all artwork here have to be such troublesome spots? Marvelous Knight. Hard in custody. Oh, there was a thing that I picked up. Nice. Fishing hook. What's up with this? It's coming out of the painting. Could it be, well, an actual hook? Don't touch it! Juggling. A voice comes from the painting. What year was I born? Wrong! Ow! Don't want to go in there. I'm dying. Oh, what kind of room is this? I think I gotta watch out for that strange gas coming from the floor. Taking out books is forbidden. Why is there an umbrella here? Well, I guess I'll take it. It can serve as a weapon in a pinch. Now for the one painting and puzzle, the girl missing the umbrella. The training of existences, the fantastical be made reality. I'm not sure that I understand. There's no fear greater than the unknown. Terror. Being alone is frightening. A pair of two can bring relief. A group of three. The rest have been torn off. I hope Eve and Mary are okay. Well, at least they have each other. The essentials of color. It describes the uses of color. Huh. This is pretty difficult stuff. Oh. Green. Enlightenment. As I recall, they were detected earlier when I fit the moon to the floor. I wonder if we're hanging this umbrella on it. Huh? It went right into the painting. It's just one inexplicable thing after another here, isn't it? Let's switch over. Thank you. Hey, Eve, look. He caught something. Eve, we have an umbrella. Hung the umbrella in front of the painting. Huh? It started raining in the room. That's so weird. Oh, now the animals won't be dehydrated. It's moving. Where do you think it's going? Thanks. Rotation. Huh? This painting rotates. 
Let's try turning it. That'll help Gary in that one room, too. Uh, let me look up the juggler. 6223. Correct! Thanks. I like the detail of how it has the dates on there now. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, are you on a treasure hunt? I want to play too. I mean, you can if you want. Hmm. Yep. Rotate that again. So we can get that one. But then how do I... Do I just tough it out? <laughs> okay, I'm not dead yet. What the? This is this painting actually rotates. There we go. Now the foreigners in the study should have withdrawn as well. I need help! Thank you. Pink ball. Clinton works at Gratena Part 2. Contains paintings by Gratena organized by letter. I wonder if there's anything useful. Serpentine spirit. Beginning with this piece, Gertena shifted to greater focus on abstract art. By the time Cubism was made more in vogue, the Gertena's various abstract works are ignored. The Hangman. Gertena apparently painted this as a page filler while doing blinding, binding work for a magazine. With illustrations each issue, it became renowned and was later sold for a limited time as a tarot card. Pres presently, it is next to impossible for one to become upon this tarot card. M. Mary. The last work of Gertena's life. Well, the girl appears almost lifelike. She is, of course, not based on a real person either. There's a familiar painting on the page next to the description. Why? It can't be. That's... Mary! I told you there was something about Mary. She doesn't exist. What does that mean? But then, where what is with Eve? Strained ear. I heard it. Mary's secret! Enlightenment? Enlightenment, see? You've been enlightened to the situation. Hey, where'd the doll go? Treasure hunting is fun! I found treasure too! Oh, it's something looks a bit bloated. I suppose I'll take a closer look. Hmm. Need one more. Mary. Look, the painting. It's tattletaling. Tattletale. It's whispering something. Mary? Mary. I'm Mary. <laughs> uh, my name is Mary. Is my name Mary? <laughs> Mary? I think your name is Mary. Okay. In my way. In my way. In my way. In my way. You know, you should maybe stop. I'm just gonna keep walking away. 
Ooh, that was relaxing, you know, just getting a little stabbing out. Eve, don't leave me. You stab things, I'm gonna definitely leave you. Eve, your flower's all red and pretty. Can I touch it? No. Bleh. Oh, Gary is safe. Yes, that would be nice. But if he's not, we'll just have to leave him behind, right? Just saying. What are Gary's doing now? Crying all alone, maybe. I hope you find him soon. Huh? Oh, that was... I'm sorry, I'm not too sure either. I was just... All these feelings suddenly... How should I say it? Came gushing out, um, and uh... Whatever, don't worry about it. I'm okay now. Let's play dolls. I'll be the mom doll, and Eve can be the dad doll. Eve, do you have friends? Like, how many? I have friends, but they aren't you. Friends are people you always play with, right? And sometimes you argue? And maybe after you argue, you can come back as better as friends than before. No, you have like a fist fight. And then you become better friends. Oh, that's a song. Where'd you want me, Mary? It sucked. You should sing when you're sad. You'll be having fun again before you know it. Cookies and cake and chocolate. <laughs> I'm just itching to eat so many sweets. Hey, Eve. Have you ever done Loves Me, Loves Me Not? Well, you see, there's actually a way to always end with Loves Me. Want to hear it? Tell me more. Okay, I'll tell you. If you run out of petals on Loves Me Not, you can still count the stem. And that's how you always get loves me. That's cheating. I want to get out soon. I'm tired of being here. Eeb, you know about snow? Well, lucky. It's really cold, right? I read in the book that you can eat it with syrup. Yeah, you can. I wonder how it tastes. Like, syrup? It's like small white stuff that falls from the sky. And you can gather a bunch of snow and make it into a ball. And then throw them have a snowball fight. Sounds really fun. I want to try it, don't you? No. You need to stop following me, by the way. You okay? Nope. So... I think this is one of the only areas we haven't really gone. Aspiration. Can't do much there. Need more colors here. Okay, we gotta do a switch out. Gary, you're gonna have to go into a place that's gonna be very dangerous. You may die. Good luck. The door is unlocked. Disturbing doll. Doll with torn open stomach. Welcome to our home. Oh boy. You're an empty frame, like my soul. That's seven of them. Huh? No, it won't open. Why? Let's have another treasure hunt. Who... who has the key? What's that? What, what now? This doesn't look good. Need to find the key and get out. No! Got the key! Later! <sighs> I have had enough of that room! Why did I have to go through that? Because you're made to suffer, Gary. This is no time to be whining. Eve might be in a terrifying situation of her own. We've got to regroup soon. The seven colors are assembled, for sells the manor. 
Honestly, there was so much going on that it completely slipped my mind. I'm never seeing for that room again. Stairs. I've come this far, but now I'm wondering if I should keep going. I'm not sure what good going back would do. Go ahead. <sighs> I'm so indecisive. I'm pathetic, really. Just keep moving. There's no other option. Please be safe. Mary? Mary. And a little lamb. Hmm. Gotta move it now, gotta move it now. Need some help? There's a rainbow in the canvas. Illusion. Brown key. Well, I will be going now. Eve. Hello there, Mary. Why won't you help me? We can go downstairs and remove that statue. Eve. Right? Eve, get out of there. Why are you running? Because you have a knife and you're going to stab me. Eve! What? What are you doing to Mary? Shut up. You should have been good and waited there. Mary, I knew it. You're... Let go! <laughs> You've been garyed. This one goes out to all the Garys out there. Eve, are you alright? Sorry it took so long. Whoa, Eve! Sorry. It must have been scary. But it's okay now. You might not believe me, but Mary, she isn't human. She's one of Gritano's works, just like those women in the paintings who chased after us. I didn't notice of how normally she acted, but... NORMAL?! It's dangerous to stay with her. If I'd just been a moment too late there... You might feel sorry for her. But we need to get away from here, now! Mary is the moving muscle. Useless. Also deadly. Is Rose. It looks real, but it's fake. So you went all this way with Mary, Eve. Oh, no, I'm not angry at all. It allowed us to meet back up, even. Though the thing with Mary was, well, unfortunate. Still, so it's not to waste all our efforts. Let's not give up now. Wow. Is this a display as well? This place is amazing. It's like you're really under the stars. But taking a closer look, it's just jewelry. Hanging from a wall with a painted night sky. Silly me. I was beginning to think they were floating by some mysterious force. What the? A rainbow bridge? Is it safe to cross? Yeah. We've crossed the rainbow bridge. But I did get weak in the knees. There's a lot of commentary in this game. Say, wasn't this painting on display at the exhibition as well? I have quite an impression, so I remember it clearly. Because it's just an eye. This painting was on the floor below as well. But if you really think about it, isn't it contradictory to have two of one, one flesh? Oh, well, maybe it's not that deep. Why is it raining in this room? This painting was also on the floor I was on. It was quite surprising to find it actually rotated. The 
This umbrella looks familiar. Didn't we see a work similar to this before? Oh, that's right. I was quite taken aback at how Catcher gave it a pedal Eve. There's an archive here as well. Perhaps all these books belong to Gratena. Let's go to, uh, Gary's zone. After we split up, I found a secret passage. So I went through it and led me here. I was deeply worried when I do if we could never meet up again. I'm glad we did. I found a book in Gratena's works here, and in it was Mary. Eve, let's get going. There was some sort of gas in this room earlier, but it seems to have stopped. Hmm? I was able to rotate this earlier, but it seems it won't anymore. Eve, don't go in there. It's much too dangerous. Okay, I think we're done. As far as optional dialogue now. Cool. So with Gary, we can go and move the one thing. It's our next step past that block path. Alright, leave it to me. Or every cutesy painting for Gratana. Or at least the frame is. Looks like we can go down if we move this. It's the back, Eve. Borg. Mwah. <sighs> So many of these have I pushed today. Oh well, let's go. Wah, ha, these stairs are so narrow. Be careful not to trip and fall, Eve. Oh god. That made me jump. Was that a shooting star? That was also a shooting star. This is actually part of the best part of the game, in my opinion. Hmm. I just had an odd sensation. Was it my imagination? Hard, but there's treasure. Easy, but there's nothing. Treasure. The stars here have a particularly unique shape, don't they? Oh, I want the treasure. Strange opposite blocked away. Seems no going back. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Fish! There's something here. It's in the diamond. Diamonds. A diamond? Is this the treasure I was talking about? Gary, I think it's me, our crayon. Excuse me, okay, take a look at that. Ah! The diamond shattered. Ah, oh, well, um... I knew it could have been real, of course. Really, I did. Oh, God! Bah! I said there would be a diamond in a place like this. Ouch! Ouch! Is there something there? Sketchbook. Yeah, you're right. Well now, this is a stark change of mood. The reason not to remain cautious, though. Let's go, Eva. Tulip. 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 That bulletin board, what could that be? There's something posted up here. Is this a map of the area? We seem to be the bottom right currently. Let's take a closer look at any points of interest, shall we? Farm area. Butterfly area. Regular house. Sketchbook exit needs toy key. Sketchbook exit, you say? But it seems we need a toy key. Gallery. Cute little house. Lake with bird. Fish are swimming around. 
It's just a flower garden. With the bias towards tulips, so. Why hasn't this one bloomed, I wonder? We'll need some water. A pond. Did roast him into water? Oops. Eve, make sure you don't fall in while you're spacing out. The long neck duck swims around. I had to say, it looks more like a goose to me. This pond's big, isn't it? I'm thirsty, so maybe I'll take a sip. Or so I thought. But it smells a bit like crayons, so perhaps I shouldn't. Give it be for now. Mushroom, mushroom. What do you suppose that is? Squirrel. A squirrel? Oh, then is it holding an acorn? How do you say that? I can see how it could be a squirrel. A cute little house. Who do you think lives here? I suppose if anyone does, it'd be one of Gritano's works anyway. Hmm, I'll look at the logistics of it, but it seems you can't walk on black areas here. See the door in that big building? There's an eye on, right? I believe it's the kind of door that needs something other than a key to open. I wonder how it might open. Can we try to pry the island open? I think we gotta, like, water the uh, flower. Ah, oh, some fruit trees. Lemons, grapes, cherries, oranges, strawberries. Strawberries. Yeah, you know, strawberry tree. There's writing on the door. There's a note in the yellow building. Read it to open the store. Such a kind message. So kind that it feels suspicious. You know, I'm fond of butterflies, but... Moths kind of gross me out. Even though they look so similar to butterflies. Butterfly. 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 Butterfly Park. Why are there horses here? Mary. The dolls. And then there's us. Don't you suppose this is a yellow building? From the note on or something. The toy key always goes back in the toy box. There's a sound from over there. Need that heal. Eep, what is it? Did something happen? Here doesn't seem to see it. We just waltzed in here. Surely we aren't trespassing, right? Some sort of red fruit. Guess this is a coat hanger. We need to wake up. It's good to get some sunlight. Take the bucket. Mary. Eve. Gary. Where are you? I just need to make a point to you all. Come out. Aw, oh, she actually looks kind of sad. You know, sad she's not murdering us. Don't tell me. Was that... She's after us. Mary was looking for us. Perhaps she feels bitter. But no. She's in one of the Gritanian's works. We simply can't stay with her. Got some water. E, but you think of wearing this tulip? I see, well, it's worth a shot. The tulip bloomed. Hmm, there's something inside of it. A little mirror. I wonder what this mirror is for. Oh dear, I've got awful bangs under my eyes. Ah, uh, but this is the time to be fussing with my parents, sorry. Look like the sun? Pudding. Oh, here. Talk to Gary. I was just thinking. Why did Mary come with us? To make fun of us. It's possible that doesn't really feel right. We don't particularly know what she's after. Granted, she may not even have a goal. 
But first things first, I would appreciate if she could stop chasing us with a pallet knife. Eve, you came to the exhibit with your mom and dad, right? But, hmm? Oh, I came alone. Now, I'm not implying I don't have any friends, alright? Art galleries aren't really places you visit with a big group, you see. And I thought it'd be nice to look around by myself and take it at my own pace. Gary, look at your coat. You have no friends. Come on now. And look at your hair. You know, as far as we've managed to come, are we headed underground? All the stairs go down. Are we sure we want to? I mean, this place doesn't logically make sense. If anything, you would go down. Sorry, Eve. You need me to make you anxious. Forget I said it, okay? This place seems to make my ears ring. And is it just me, or does it smell like crayons? Why? Eve, you're holding onto your rose, right? Make sure you don't lose it. Don't even think about giving it to anyone else. Although I still wonder, why roses? Couldn't think of it. I did see a large rose sculpture in the gallery. I wonder if there's a connection there. You know, after seeing all the moving paintings and things jumping out of their frames, I'm not even surprised to see pertaining move now. As absurd as that sounds. Huh. <laughs> Why? Even trick art seems like nothing special. I guess that's pretty much it. Pudding. A giant pudding on a plate. Have you ever wanted to take a bite of a giant serving of food like that? I have. I knew it. Who wouldn't, right? Now it's about your age. I had such a hankering for this giant cake from a storybook. I want to get on top and eat the cake at my feet. Then dive into the sea of juice and swim around. Okay, Gary, please. That's a little weird now. Getting a little too, uh... Too into it. Face a little mirror toward the door. Sunlight. I see. Use the mirror to reflect the sunlight. Not too shabby. Can you solve this puzzle? Make one remove and you'll be punished. So fish were located here, right? But I think they want to do it in the order, so horses is here? Yeah. Then mushroom... Here. Where was cherry? Well, fruit. Yeah. Sun. Fish. Star. Star to the north? I mean, butterflies here. Nice. Pink crayon. Now I have the power of art. Huh. As far as I might think about, I don't know what use a crayon would have. To draw something. Perhaps the color means something too. Gary, we're in a world of crayons and color. What do you think we're gonna do with it? We just need to fill in the path, see? Now we can walk. Scripting over all this is surprisingly tiring. Now that the ground is colored, it seems you can pass. If there's a toy box anywhere, this is the only place left for it. What's with this dreary room? Plus, I'm getting chills. Toy box. So this is a toy box. It's rather big. At any rate. Man, it looks almost empty as my soul. So the toy key was in there. Um, I can't see the bottom. Is there really a key in there, I wonder? Mary? Wanna see? Oh! Am I dead? No, I'm not. You don't have your red rose. Oh no. Mary. And Gary isn't here either. The disturbing doll is smiling. The disturbing doll is smiling. Hey, key. Toy key. Found the red rose. The fall seems to have knocked off a number of petals. 
Jindal is smiling. And the statue. Gary? Oh, there you are. You kind of blended in. Um, just stay there a little bit, Gary. I'm gonna look around. This is kind of cool. Oof. Ugh, oh, hit my head. Eve, are you okay? I'm fine. Oh, that's good. At any rate... This place is covered in all these bizarre scribbles. Is this... The toy box? We fell in from the upper floor. After she pushed us. Anyway, the toy key was it. You better find that and get out. Oh, you already found the toy key. Well done. Let's find the exit at once. Um... What? I don't like this. I feel like something like this has happened before. What? What do these things? Eve, let's hurry toward the exit! Yeah, because we're one hit away- OH GOD! We managed to get away. Uh, give me a break! Uh, yes, you better recover your rose soon. Make sure to hold on tight this time, okay? Yellow flowers, like Mary. Is this... the room where the toy box was? Are those roses drawn on the wall? Yellow roses. Which reminds me of Mary. Horns blocked away. Completely blocked. Think it's not to go up then. What should we do? These horns are odd. They don't seem real. They don't feel as lively as plants should. It looks so artificial. Although most things here don't feel real. That sunlight or that pudding, for example. We're really deep and deep now, aren't we? Wait a moment, Abe. There seem to be stairs over there. Should we take a look? Burn, alright. Burn them. Yeah, I suppose that'll work. Some possibility just slipped my mind. Maybe I just didn't think they were flammable. But whatever. Let's try burning them, then. Success! It worked, Eeb. Hmm? This room. The air feels very heavy somehow. More importantly, see that, Eeb? The painting on the wall over there. I think I've seen it before. Can we get a closer look? Who's there? Eeb! Gary! You're both okay. How'd you get into this room? Leave. Don't take another step. What? Leave right now. 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 Leave! Run, 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 run. Mary. You're gonna burn, all right. There's no other option left. No, stop! What? Ah. No. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In this case, literally dust. I have to say... I thought I was a goner there. That fire, it was much bigger than I expected. Are you okay, Eeb? Did you get hurt when the glass shattered? Hmm? My hand. Oh, you're right, I cut it. I didn't even notice. I must have cut it just now. Well, it's just a little scratch. Give handkerchief. Here. A handkerchief. You're sure? Then I suppose I'll borrow it. Wait. Hold on, it's in this real lace. I don't want to make this dirty. Too late, unfortunately. Oh well. I'll be borrowing this then. Thank you, Eve. 
Now then, let's head outside. So this frame really was Mary's. Let's head for the exit. Is this a book about minerals? And this one's a storybook. How to make friends. Udaw. I've had enough of these. Don't touch it, Eve. Cards. Rain done in crayon. Everyone likes inviting visitors to live with us, but... I want to leave this place myself and just live outside. But for me to get out, it seems like I have to switch places with someone from outside. Won't well, somebody come soon? Won't well, somebody come soon? This is... There are scenic photos of some place you don't know. Scared crayons. Old mannequin head behind them. Photos of cakes. A palette knife lies among what looks like to be a pile of burnt paper ashes. She... He was one of Gratano's creations then. One of the things that is always you kind of like know about Mary is that she initially doesn't have malice towards you. She only gains malice when she knows like her only chance of getting out is she has to take one of your roses. She is a painting. It's like an existential crisis. Whoa, it's dark. Watch your step, Eve. Because even though things she reads are like how to make friends, like things about cakes and things she can never try, scenic places other than here, stuff like that. Like she, you know, she wants to get out. She wants to live a normal life, just at the expense of one of us. Although I don't think she had the initial attention for that. It's pitch black outside. This place looks familiar. The counter of stairs. Proportional fish painting. Isn't it just like the original gallery? And the exit is near. I think this is the same dialogue from before, right? Well meaning hell. Abyss of the Deep. I'm gonna, like, go for all these paintings just in case they have to, like, be seen again. Coughing Man. Fusion. Well, technically you get their, like, full titles because Gary's with you now. The Hangman, Lady Taking Newspaper, Worry, Couple of Towers, Lady in Red, Because Antipode, Spectre of the Century's End, Taste Cleansing Tree, Meow, Diamonds, Bit of Fruit, Reserve Seat, Death the Individual. I think that looks a lot different. The world, though. There's no coming back after this. All your time here will be lost. Will you still jump in? Hell yeah. What's this big painting? Fabricated world. Isn't that the gallery we came from? Does that mean if we jump into this painting, we'll be able to go back? How are we meant to jump into a painting? Just, just hop in. Well, what? Eve, look. The frame. Now might be our chance. Yes, I'm really in. Hurry up, Eve. Eve. Eve, what's wrong? Come on. Eve, I finally found you. Goodness, I've been looking everywhere. Don't just go wandering off on your own. Your father's waiting for you too, see? Let's get going, Eve. Eve, hey, what are you doing? Hurry up and come over. Eve, how many times have I told you? 
Don't go following strangers. Now follow me. Hey, it's not scary, okay? You'll be fine. Eve, listen to your mother. Don't go with some stranger. Do you want to never see your mother and father again? Eve, here, I'll pull you over. Come with me. Reach out your hand. Eve. What should you do? Well, let's go for a bad ending first. Go with mom. Uh, wait! Hey, where are you going, Eve? Hey, hold on, Eve. Eve! See, like, the nice touches from Gary's perspective, he doesn't see anything. Bad ending. Eve all alone. Take Gary's hand. Alright. It's a nice painting, though. You can't remember what you were doing. Oh no, I don't have a Gary button anymore. Any new dialogue here? I don't think so. Yeah, same dialogue. Right, just look at all the paintings. Like I said, I don't know if they like. I'm not sure if it counts like you gotta find them all once, or if it's every new appearance of the painting counts. But you might as well like tap all of them. There's our parents. Now, since Gary's not with us, we can't read the actual title. Oh, there's Gary. Eternal sleep. Spirit. At water's edge. A well-meaning blank. Gretchen isn't the most famous artist, but I've been eagerly anticipating this exhibition. I hope you come to appreciate his art too, Eve. Did you take a look at the fish over there? You know, there are really little fish like that way down the depths of the sea. I think it's scary, huh? It's got a creepy look for sure. But does it make you a little excited too? It does. Hmm? What is it, Lily? What's the statue called? On oh, this? It's called the Embodiment of Spirit, apparently. When I look at this rose, somehow I feel deeply sorrowful. I wonder why. Ugh, my apologies. I shouldn't be dropping such things on you, I'll be blue, Eve. Wait, what? Who's Eve? What? That's your name? Your name's really Eve. That's the strangest thing. I mean, this should be our first meeting. It just kind of came out. How odd. But actually... Have we perhaps met somewhere before? My, look at me. Asking you such strange things. Never mind what I said. So long. Hmm? What's this? A handkerchief. Did I always have this? That's mine. What? This is yours. My word is true. Eve. Your name's on it. But why is it in my pocket? Not only that, there's blood on it. I was... I was... wounded. On the hand. And... A girl. A girl gave me her handkerchief. That's it. I was lent, lent this handkerchief. By that girl. By Eve. Eve, I remember now. When we together back there. 
How could I have forgotten something so important? We stuck together all the way, traversing that bizarre art gallery, being chased by those strange paintings. I really was just like a couple. I mean, he married too, right? Eve, do you remember? I remember. Oh, thank goodness. It's honestly hard to believe even now, but it must have happened, right? Eve, we got back safely. We did it. <laughs> There's so much more I want to talk about. I've got to get going. Say, Eve, is it alright if I keep this handkerchief for a while longer? It wouldn't do to return it as it is. I'll be sure to give it a good clean, and then give it back. Because we'll see each other again. So I think that's the best ending you can get. Um, there was... I think there's some endings you can't get without beating the game once. Uh, and there's some definitely some more bad endings we can get. So we'll obviously go through all the other endings. Uh, and I think there might be another section of the game, too, on one of the ending routes. It's been a while, but I I'm assuming the endings are mainly going to be the same. I could be wrong. Jerry, look behind you! That's when Mary first comes out of her portrait. Again, promise of reunion. Like the true Gatina exhibition. Hidden dungeon, a lot bonus endings. Yep, there they are. Diamond. Well, it's just a little scratch. Now let's go. Right, we do have the toy key now. Set to the yellow building. We're gonna get another ending here. So this ending is essentially the same as the good ending, but we didn't get the handkerchief, and the big difference is gonna come a little bit later. Which you'll see in a second here. You can't remember what you were doing. Hmm? What is it, little lady? Hmm? Nothing much. I'm just looking at this rose sculpture. When I look at this rose, somehow, I feel deeply sorrowful. I wonder why. Ah, uh, my apologies. I shouldn't be dropping such things on you out of the blue. Never mind what I said. Well, so long. Later. Eve, there you are. Oh, were you looking at this? Isn't it amazing? They say it represents a person's heart. I wonder if you have such a beautiful rose in your heart, Eve. Say, so, Eve, let's walk around together. You haven't looked over this way yet, have you? I hope you find some more pieces you like. Ending. Memories Crannies. I'm really getting sick of this. You must be kidding me. It switches off the lights? Oh, thank goodness. I thought I wouldn't come back. <sighs> what is this?
I've had enough of this place. So we're gonna go for the other set of bad endings, which is gonna require us to, uh, fail here. And the first time I ever played Eve, I actually did fail here, because it's pretty easy to fail. And you've essentially locked yourself into a bad ending round at that point. <laughs> a moon will be so great. I bet it'd swing back and forth like a great big cradle. Ebe, you can't open this door unless you have the key, you know. Wait, you have it? You're going ahead? Alright. Well, shall we go? Let's go down the stairs. Huh? The walls here are the same purple as back when we were with Gary. Oh, this painting was upstairs too, wasn't it? Marvelous night. This is one of the ones we saw earlier. Ah, see, Mary's book isn't here. That's so... <laughs> oh, sure. Sometimes, yeah, exactly. Do you hear someone talking? Very rarely, you understand. Just ran out, you see. Oh, I love it. Quite a lot, in fact. But I can't really find the time for it. You hear Gary's voice behind the door. Ben. Gary? Ha <laughs> ha, you're such an interesting girl, you know that. I feel like I could talk to you about all my worries. <laughs> ben. 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 Huh, I never heard that before. You tell me more? No, no, I won't tell anyone. Your secret's safe with me. What? I don't believe it, really. Are you for real? Because that's disgusting. Who'd do that to a girl? If I saw that happening, I'd tell them off for sure. Something troubling you. I know the feeling. Sometimes you can just feel helpless. You know you can't run away, but still... Nothing works out for you. I wonder why. <sighs> yes, that works too. And I wouldn't have to think. Just forgetting all the bad things. <laughs> oh, yes, exactly. He keeps talking to himself. Is this really Gary? Something's wrong with him. Maybe it's a fake. I mean, the real Gary wouldn't be in a place like this, right? Eeb? Slap. Slap. Oh. Ow! What are you fucking doing, Abe? No way, he's back. Damn. Huh? Abe. And Mary, too. What's going on? And where even is this place? 
why are we all here in the first place? Whoa, Eve. My, I'm not too sure why, but it seems I had you worried. Sorry about that, Eve. All right then. I like to say we need to press ahead, but my memory's a bit jumbled up, and I can't remember what I was doing. Well, you don't really need to remember, do you? Now that we're back together and all, I suppose that's true. But I feel like I'm forgetting something important. I wonder what it was. Anyway, let's go. There's a staircase upstairs we haven't taken. All right then. Let's give it our best. Everyone just go inside me and let's go. Can we go back upstairs? The only place we haven't gone. Is there? Let's make our way. I've been here too, I think. I believe I was searching for something. What's the matter, Gary? Oh, it's nothing. Hmm? Mary, you dropped something. What? Hey, wait a minute. This ain't a real rose. A big fat phony. Huh. It's Rose. Don't touch that. But Mary... What's that you're holding? Give it back. What? Hold on, Mary. Don't touch it. This is my rose. Wait, keep that away. Ah. Shove. Mary. Is this as I thought? Eve, listen. I remember now. I saw a portrait of Mary in a collection of Cortana works. You might not believe it, but Mary is inhuman. I think she's one of Gretana's creations, just like those women in the paintings who chase after us. I didn't notice of how she normally acted, but I think it's dangerous to stay with her. It's unfortunate, but we should leave this place quickly. Eve, 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 please open your eyes. You hear Gary's voice. Eve, thank goodness, are you alright? Does anything hurt? You don't have your red rose. You must have let it slip out of your hand when you fell. But it should be somewhere in this room. Let's find it quickly. Toy key. Oh, what's this? A present for me. Yay, it's so pretty. Can I have it? Oh, thank you. That... it can't be. Mary! Oh! Even Gary, did you find what you were looking for? But anyway, looky looky, I just got given this. Isn't it pretty? Mary, that... that rose. Huh? Oh, you mean this is Eve's? I thought I'd seen it before. Mary, please, give that back to Eve. Huh? What should I do? Eve, you want this back. I don't mind. What are you saying, Eve? That rose is like your life here. Mary, please. Hmm. Well then. Wanna trade Gary's rose? Gary's rose is blue, right? I like red and all, but I like blue even more. See? That's why this doll is blue too. Isn't she cute? How you doing? So... On a trade. Yeah. <sighs> Stare. Please don't give me that look, Eve. Don't worry. 
I'll be fine. Just leave it to me. Fine, it's a deal. Please hand over Eve's rose in exchange for mine. Really? You sure? Yes. <laughs> Yay, such a pretty color. <laughs> Never trust those Marys. Be careful with it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why are you apologizing? You didn't do anything wrong, Abe. Right? So don't look so down. As for my rose, well, we'll just catch Mary and get it back. Let's do our best. I know we're almost there. <laughs> the air feels cold. What? What's with these things? Eve, let's hurry toward the exit. Loves me? The blue petals on the ground. Loves me not. Loves me? Eve. Wait. Hey, Eve. Um, sorry, but could you go on ahead? I'm a. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't really know what to say. I don't want to lie to you, but I don't want to tell you the truth either. As soon as I'm ready to go again, I'll come running. Go on ahead. Go on ahead. Loves me not. Loves me. 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 You're a sadistic little thing, Mary. <laughs> Yay. Now I can... Only stock remains. Gary is sleeping. He's only a lighter. The only too many things. Okay, so we're gonna go for... Getting where we don't take the lighter. That world, though. There's no coming back after this, all your time here will be lost. Jump in. Jump into the painting. You can't remember what you were doing. So the handkerchief and the uh, candy. Hey, mommy, what's for dinner tonight? Come on now, Mary. I'm talking about dinner already. Well, that's because I'm hungry. Ah. Uh. Hey, Eve. It's your blonde sister, with both your parents being brunettes. Welcome back. I also have blue eyes. Unlike your red. Hey, I found Eve. My word, Eve. Where'd you go off to? I don't take a look around with you. Hey, it's alright. Maybe Eve just wanted to see the exhibits by herself in peace. Is that so, Eve? Well, should we get going soon? Feels like Mary's getting hungry. Yes, I'm feeling a bit parched myself. Perhaps I'll drop by a cafe. Yay, cafe, cafe. Hear that, Eve? A cafe. 
I can't wait to see what they have. Alright, let's go. Yeah. Wasn't the Gratena exhi exhibition wonderful? Yep, I bet Eve and Mary found it pretty stimulating too, huh? Yeah, it was the best. Right, Eve? You murder people. There's candy in your pocket. Oh, candy, gimme! <laughs> it's tasty. Hey, Eve. What do you want to play when we get home? <laughs> I'm getting excited just thinking about it. Promise me from now on. We'll always be together, Eve. Then evil has won. Together forever. Take the lighter. Eat the candy you got from Gary. Power the lighter. Gary is sleeping. Sleep tight, Gary. Eve, what are you doing? Why are you here? And how did you get into this room? You can't. You're not supposed to be here. Please leave now. 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 Leave! Oh. Oh. She's a little bit faster when you just Eve alone. You're gonna burn, alright. Eve, don't! Stop! No! Jump into the painting. Eve! Eve! We have been looking all over for you. How could you just run off on your own? I said I'd catch up, didn't I? Come now, I was so worried. Anyway, Eve, I think I found some kind of exit. It's not here, it's over there. Let's go check it out, alright? No way. Huh, but why not? You might finally be able to get out of here. We can go back for this painting. How can you know for sure? Come on, let's go. Come with me. Eve! You can't remember what you're doing. Forgotten portrait. It depicts a sleeping man. Oh, Eve. There you are. I was looking all over for you. Hey, how about we look around together? We came as a family, after all. Your mother said as much herself. She's waiting for us downstairs. Eve, this way. Ending. Forgotten Portrait. Interesting. Bad ending. Eve all alone. So you just what? Decide to stay there? 
Oh, because she couldn't go back in. Because like, it's like, oh, you only have one chance. Go with Gary. I knew you were a good kid, Eve. Alright, let's go. Bad ending. Eve all alone. There's a lot of variations of Eve all alone. So I'm gonna start doing all the negative actions to start going down a very specific route. What was that? You... Why you? Quickly close your eyes. See? It's just a mannequin. Let's get going, Eve. A mannequin hand in pieces. Oops. So we gotta, like, do a blitz. We can take a shortcut we go through these, alright? Out of the way! Smash. Now let's hurry. Away you. We're almost there. Enough already. How long are you gonna follow me? Enough of this. I'm busy here. And not gonna be your buddy. These stupid dolls. Out of my way. It hurts, it hurts. Doll head lies on the ground. It's all your fault my head came off. Eve, can I ask you something? Is Gary your dad? He's a stranger. Oh, really? Hmm, so you met here? Hmm. Is your mom nice, Eve? Yes. Oh, lucky you. You want to see your parents again soon, right? I want to get out soon, too. Hey, so, Eve, if only two of us can get out of here, what would you do, then? I'd leave with you, Mary. Really? Oh, I'm so happy. I want to leave with you, too, Eve. And once we get out, we'll play all sorts of games, eat lots of candy, visit so many places. <laughs> I can't wait. Let's make sure we leave together, okay? Promise. I don't know how you even do that. Gary? <laughs> it's just an interesting girl, you know that. I feel like I can talk to you about all my worries. <laughs> Gary? Oh. You lost looking for a friend. All the ones here just like you, and me too, of course. And you should stay and talk with us till your mom and dad come pick you up. <laughs> Eve, let's go on ahead. Gary's not listening to you at all. Let's find the exit, okay? Gary's a grown up, so he'll catch up later. Okay? So let's get to the stairs. Eve? Hey, Eve, what's wrong? Don't just sit there. I'm sure we're close to an exit. I'll do my best for you. We'll get out together. Yeah, Eve? Come on, get up. Ugh. Eve, if you don't get up, I'll go on without you, okay? You sure you want that? Eve, you dummy. So we might finally be able to get outside. I'll leave you here, I mean it. Eve. 
We're friends, aren't we? I always dream of going outside, but... I don't want to leave you to do it. We promised we'd leave together. I read in a book once that you have to treat your friends right. So, I'm not going to leave you, Eve. <laughs> what do you want to do, Gary? Will you stay with us too? Ah, uh, what can be done here? Well, we can play hide and seek or draw. We just play together all the time here. My, that's fabulous. I'd love to be a part of that. Normally grown-ups aren't allowed, but let's life for you, Gary. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> Looks like I made two friends. Let's have a welcoming party. Looks like everyone's here. Introducing my new friends. A nice little detail is, you can tell both of them are dead now. Like, the blue one already picked apart Carrie's rose, and then I'm not sure what happened to Eve's. Eve and Gary. Everybody get along well with them. Oh, that's right. Oh, Gary, how naughty. Having something so dangerous. Dangerous things aren't allowed in the gallery. So they'll just go in the... Tr tr trash. Yeah, to the trash. Here you go. There, that's that. Eep, Gary. Now we can play lots and lots. Forever. Ending. Welcome to the world of Gortana. This sucks. If only two of us can get out of here, what would you do then? I'll leave with Gary. I see. You'd rather stay with Gary. Well, you know, I was just being all what if. Come on, let's go. Gary? Eve, let's go on ahead. Gary's not listening to you at all. Let's find the exit, okay? Gary's a grown-up, so we'll catch up later. Okay, so let's get to the stairs. Uh, Eve? Hey, Eve, what's wrong? Don't just sit there. I'm sure we're close to an exit. I'll do my best for you. We'll get out together. Yeah, Eve? Come on, get up. <sighs> Eve, if you don't get up, I'll come without you, okay? You sure you want that? Eve, you dummy. This way we might finally be able to get outside. I'll leave you here, I mean it. I think when we come so far. Whatever. I'm getting out on my own, I swear it. Blank. Blank, 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 blank. Huh. Was there always a page like this? Hey, stranger, you're listening up. I'm going outside. You guys can all come along too if you want. I bet it'll be fun. I'm really good at juggling balls. I tried once, but I couldn't do it at all. I hate you.
It's so pretty with all those colors. Can you move for a sec? I'm headed down. Yeah, sure. Yay. I want a moon bed. Just a little more. Just a little more and I'll... Where are you going? They're all dance paintings. A bunch of same pieces of paper. What if Dad made this too? Why is there so much of this one painting? Dad's got lots of other paintings. Don't go that way. Come back. I'm here. This is the one. I can get out from here. I can finally go outside. I'll eat lots of candy and I'll go to all sorts of places. Make lots of friends that I won't murder this time. Did I... get out? It's just the outside. I did it. The painting's different. I can't see a thing. Oh, a door. Maybe I can leave that way. You can never leave, Mary. Huh? It won't open. This is the exit, isn't it? What now? I just want to get outside. How do you open these windows? You can't go back. You can't go anywhere. We're lonely. Come back. Everyone's waiting for you. Your heart is fabricated. Oops. Is this me? Yep. It's too late. Is someone there? Just in case. Poor little Mary, forever wandering all on your own. Come, Mary. Into the darkness. I'm scared. Someone help me. It's all black. This can't be outside. I don't like this. Now I can't see anything. No, I hate this. What's happening? I can't see a thing. Why? Why is the outside world like this? It's supposed to be bright and fun and... and full of people too. Why is it just me here? Eeb? Where are you? I'm lonely. I'm so scared. Help! Gary! Hey, Gary's gonna help you? What? Somebody! Dad. 
ending. A painting's demise. So the big thing is you can't get out. Unless you switch out with a living person. So like this one, it's just literally a dead end for Mary. So this is a optional area from basically coming from the game a second time. Uh, there is kind of a minor bad end down there, but they we're just going to show off the proper good end route that would occur if you went down this area. I feel like I've gone down these stairs before. I don't remember if this was in the old version or the updated old version of Eve. I think it might have been. I think I added along with the, uh, the merry endings. Water. Hey, this room looks like the one where I was first attacked. Don't tell me we've looped back there. The walls are a different color. Ah, true. But yes, it must be a different place. In the rose wealth, so too will you wither. Yours are intertwined, you must learn the weight of life. Concealed secret. Secret. Deja vu, I know I've been here before. Okay. What was that just now? There's something move over there. The open door went inside. Red spears, reading in progress. Shark's head, freshly poured tea, dwelling for the little ones. My, these are rather colorful frames. Hmm. You're right. So my, I'm a white ant. Can't cross this hole. Give me a way home. Just to go blood. It's an anthill painting. Yeah, that's my way home. Go down the hole. Oh, well, there's a way back now. I'll go home then. Hard to wake man. I'm all text here. Exhaustion, extremely ferocious in the day. They seem to be actively moving around right now. They want to obey the warning and stay away. Stubborn twins. Place out of reach. Light within the canvas. Yes? Did you see that? Those forms by the entrance withdrew. It pays me off to step on a rose, but... Perhaps black roses are one of the keys to progressing for this area. Stir it up. Whoa, it's dark. Ah, oh, but something like these, though, and the lighter comes in handy. Gonna be a trap. Huh? Sorry, Eve. Looks like it's run out of oil. Let's leave for now. We wouldn't want to get ambushed here. True in second hand. Which part by touching hands to center, align the power stones, and wind up the start. Is this a clock? I've never seen one so big. I don't see second hands is talking about. I wonder where it is. Mistake. Put a mistake in a frame and give me a title. How strange. Do you hear something? Spider. These specimens? Perhaps these kind of things in text. Perhaps you've seen these kind of things in textbooks before. These insects aren't real, though they're very well made. B. Ladybug. To your paintings, your heart. To your creations, your soul. Hmm. The way that seems to be over there. A barf up into the wall. Barf up into the wall. Dodge, 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 dodge. Whoa. 
Present flame. Hold on now. I like the others. This one's moving. This will light up the one room. Perf, I flew away. What? Friendly? Observe. Hey, buddy. Ow! Whoa, we. He wasn't in pitch black in there. We wouldn't be able to see a thing. We nice we had life of some kind. Light within the canvas. But if I stop in the candle, and it looks like it's been lit. Thanks for the painting. Amazing. That candle's painting is as bright as a real candle. Now we can at least see a little bit ahead of us. Let's walk carefully. No. Balance is true form. E. Something long a fin gland on your head. What, Eve, are you right? Yeah, I'm good. Huh? You say it doesn't hurt. It's just clinging to you. Are you really sure? Well, hopefully it has no ill intent. But what do you do with it? We can't just take it along with us, and we do literally have to. Let's get outside the room for a moment, then we take it off someplace bright. Yeah! My word, are you okay, Yeb? Your scream was scarier. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't help scream when I'm startled. In fact, I'm impressed that you don't scream at anything. It's on the pro tag. Blue the wine. I'm picking up some grapes. Perhaps best known for making wine, yes. Nice. It seems the cow painting you were holding burned out at some point. Later, butterfly. Line the power stones and wind it up. And imagine the power stones of these things on the wall. That's supposed to be in a particular order. Colors? Like a rainbow? Yeah. Red, blue, yellow, purple. Green. Oops. Yes? They got darker. Okay, now we can go past the plants. Stubborn twins. Yeah, because only ferocious during the day. Queen of high society. Thank you, thank you. I know I'm the best. This is a very high society. Oh, that was brutal. Such cruelty on my exhausted legs. Come on, Gary, work out. 
Get the cardio in, buddy. Okay. Eeb, are you okay? Not too tired, are you? After how far we've come, we'll absolutely get home. Circular woman. Drown in the deep. Okay. Trist after death. Why did Gratana make such a peace I wonder? I can't help but be curious what meaning he intended. Well, because the artist is immortal now, because there's like a damn art world. The lower part. That's a real frame. And both are wearing real clothes. I wonder how long it must have taken to make this. This room is huge. And such large sculptures. Flexible stone. I sort of want to go up and touch it. The beauty of Blanc. Huh. So he left most of it blank on purpose. Sorry, but this just comes off as a lack of effort to me. An empty frame. There isn't even a title. But vaguely in the distance, you can kind of hear some words. Like my soul, dude. Only those who have discovered at least three of the scared pieces have the right to enter. Mouse. Drinking in the night. My, this is impressive. There's been so many bizarre pieces, but I think I like this one. Do you care for the art like this, Eve? Yeah. I see. Huh. Yes, it's quite pretty. I'm fond of it as well. Go here. There's a lot of paintings around here. Sleepless Dead. In actuality, like, all the paintings we're missing, you know, like how the save point says, 100 out of so many! I think, like, 50 of them are in this post-game area. Small hole in the wall. Return my contents drawn with black to me. Hmm. A croquis is a sketch drawn in a short amount of time, as I recall. A notebook used for that is called the croquis book. Okay, are these things dangerous? This room smells intensely of graphite. Hey, buddy. Oh! Wait, no, it's fine. That hurt. So only let go, don't touch the red ones. Murder everyone else. Murder, 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 murder. Pac Man, Pac Man, Pac Man, Pac Man. Waka, 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 waka. Waka, 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 waka. Need running. <laughs> I'm actually not sure if I'm supposed to be murdering them or not, but you know, it's cool. Incomplete youth. They even tore off the nameplate. They're really having a run of this place. Flowers without color. Ow. Stop that. There's a trick to solving mazes. Keep hugging the wall on one side and you'll re reach the end eventually. Nice to have a trick, I suppose. But it's the low ceilings here that really do me in. Not to mention all the things chasing us. Be careful not to get trapped between them, okay, Eeb? Release the stick people onto the notebook. Nice. What could this be, a tile? Yeah. Whoa, it vanished. This reminds me of those balls of paint. Heels. Hey, a bird. Cheap. Bark. So where do you need to go? Nice. Monster girls. Strain your eyes and look. Who is the one that lives? Cycloptic smile. Besides the sheer number of them, 
The art itself is pretty eerie. This one. So. Thanks. Okay, we're all good here. Hey, Eve. Can we rest a bit? Sure. Let's do that, then. I'm exhausted from this walking myself. Ah, <sighs> I'm so tired. It's like my legs are becoming one with the ground. You should... Take a rest while you can, too. A painting of a room, there's no title. Cubism. It's pictures that make you feel kind of uneasy. Blank art its history, Gary will read that. But in work, this is a diary by the way. Work, blank, completes, the uh, blank is lost. Most of the letters are too blurry to read. Maybe the passion. Eyes. Enlightenment. A side view of a person's eyes found in Gratana's home after his death. Noble for the charcoal applied directly to the canvas. Unfortunately, it's blank slight damage. Eve, don't leave the room by yourself now. Gary? Hey, you. Cut it out. He shows no sign of waking. This room's a trap, isn't it? There's a book of a strange aroma. Want title? Come here. Open them. Uh... Meow? Ah, finish the painting of the room. Finish it, and I'll give a tile. Is it like a matching puzzle? Are you sure? This is good. Okay. There's no title. Ah! No! Bye-bye. So it's not emulated. Emulate time. So yeah, the, the title thing was like the giveaway on that. It's my goof up. It's finished. Now I can call myself a piece of art. Take this. Thanks. Close your eyes. Three seconds you'll go back. Eve! Where did you go? You worried me so much. The room in the painting. The room in the painting? You mean that painting there? True. It did feel as if you suddenly came out from there, but... I have a way. I'm relieved you're safe. Sure, yes, I fell asleep. But don't go anywhere on your own next time. Alrighty? Alrighty. It's a promise. There was a girl in the painting. You completed it. You gave it a title. I don't really understand. But you did so well on your own, Eve. Normally I would never believe that. It seems entirely plausible here. I'm glad you're safe at any rate. Now we can read these better, because Gary's with us. Normal for charcoal applied directly to the canvas. Unfortunately, it sustained slight damage. Beautiful, bashful glance. And painting of just two eyes in the green background, created when Gratina was still a student. This work was donated to the school he attended, but went missing a few years later. Rumor has it someone at the school took it with them, but the truth of this is unverified. There's no picture of this one. Oh, I know which one that is. That's the one that, like, lowers itself to become a path. Cycloptic smile. Nice. An eerie painting of a one-eyed woman. Nice. 
It said that she was originally drawn of two eyes. It's somewhat famous for being stolen from a museum, it reappearing back in its spot the next day. This is handwritten. Gratania's own, perhaps. I'm curious about the missing pages, but I suspect we won't find them. What's going on over here? Cool. A patch of countless little plants. Those who step on them will surely incur their rage. Violent colors. Oh... Pieces of a black rose. Okay. That was simple. But who'd expect it to just start chasing me? I let my guard down, thinking it was harmless. Now let's keep it up. Bark. The way will be shown only to the forgiven. What could that mean? Isn't that bird the one from the Crow Keys room earlier? Place of warmth. So I had a home here. I'm glad this one wasn't anything too complicated. Yeah, um, things are kind of changing here more and more. It's coming from the south, though, see that? Interesting. What the? What's going on here? Aren't these the tiles I vanished earlier? Perhaps I'll make a full painting once we collect them all. That glass case in the center. It's moving, isn't it? Jewel box of temptation. Precious card. Three eyes. Jellyfish. Gun. Useless. Useless. Arrow. Fish. Crow. Dancer. You play with me. When we play, we play, making art layout perfect. What's a perfect talk to me? If not perfect, what then? Me bite. Oh, I see. Rules on the wall. Read those. Figure out. The pistol aims at the three eyes up close. Oh wait, now I can range the paintings too. Ah. Okay. The fish hates corners, so the fish is somewhat in the right spot. It's in one of these two areas. It may be like this. So many words. So the three eyes watch a dancer. That's right. The crow is closest to the pistol painting. Okay. The jellyfish sees the fish at the far end, right here. The dancer's foot points to the jewel box. The fish and arrow look at it one another. The pistol aims at the three eyes up close. That's correct. The arrow points to the brush from afar. Correct. The fish hates corners. You perfect, you smart. Fine, you have me treasure. Yay. We've solved many puzzles at this point, but this feels like it was the hardest. Play a game, you spy with me, little eye. You seem to start with. I? I, nothing to of I. Me give up, you too good. Me? Eeb? Don't know.
We used to have better things, pretty rocks and rings. We not anymore. Be bored here. All we do is play with birds sometimes. That bird, do you mean that colorful one in the other room? That one. You go through a hole to visit. Can you talk to the bird? Sure. It says chirp chirp all the time. So you can't really have a conversation. Jim. No, not half embarrassed. Dang me, give up. Were you trying to suggest me, Eve? It's like someone smeared it with paint. Gratena. Gratena! Is it really the man himself? Right, Gratena didn't leave any self portraits. I mean, it's more of a shoulder portrait. Final stage. The Black Ben. The smell somehow reminds you of home. Wait a moment, Eve. This bed gives me a bad feeling. I think we should stay away. That old bed being deaf. So this would have been like the last painting that Gorton ever made, probably. Oh, actually, look, it leads to the museum. Okay. This is technically the end of the game. Because outside of this, it just... It's just like an optional kind of cool area. It doesn't really necessarily accomplish anything or change the ending at all. So this is a bit of a secret, secret ending. Because you can only get this ending right here by coming to the post-game secret area with only Eeb in your party. Because there's a good chance you might come in there with Gary. And the problem is, is that if you don't come in with Gary, you can't read the painting, so you can't complete the um, collection of fawn aspect of the game. And you're also losing a lot of commentary, and you can't read the titles. But if you come with Gary, you can't get this ending here. So, it's very mutually exclusive, and there's a reason I've had to do about, I think, it's like five or six playthroughs to uh, get all the endings of this game. The smell somehow reminds you of home. Sleep on it. Eve. You hear a familiar voice. Open eyes. You have a bad feeling about this. Eam. Listen closely. Happy birthday, Eve. Haha. <laughs> I'll treat you today. And the cake's topped with your favorite. Strawberries. It's your special treat. Just for today. Congrats, Eve. Nine already. You've grown so fast. Feels like it was just yesterday. You were the littlest thing. Memories of your birthday. She still has plenty of growing to do. Isn't that right, Eve? Oh yeah. I'll be looking forward to it. Huh? Oh, this? <laughs> Busted. Well, it's still a little early. But here, a birthday present from me. Go ahead and open it. You got a present from Father. There's a big stuffed rabbit inside. Ben. How was that? There aren't many bunnies that big out there. Now, honey, didn't I tell you she was getting too old for stuffed animals? Huh? Did you? I did. Eve's room is already full of bunnies as it is. It hardly needs any more. It actually explains partially why Eve likes bunnies a lot, sees them in this world. Well, but... Look, Eve loves it. Ah, fine. Anyway, that's right. Here's a present for me as well. You're spacing out. It's a handkerchief with your name on, Eve. I had the people at the store make this for you. A lace handkerchief. It's not a little too soon for Eve. It'll be fine. She's so careful with her things, I don't get to buy her new ones very often. That's why I want her to have good things to begin with. I suppose. Oh, Eve, are you sleepy? It's rare to see you enjoy yourself that much. You must be tired, right? <laughs> Maybe so. How about you take a little nap, Eve? 
We'll continue the party when you wake up. Right. That sounds good. Sleep well, Eve. Good night. Bad ending. Eve all alone. So I've unlocked all the paintings and essentially unlocked everything in the game. So we're going to go through the kind of bonus area. What's the true Gratina exhibition? Eve improves all Gratina's artwork. You've seen her venture. Well now, Lady Eve, it seems you've collected every one of Gratina's works. Congratulations and a job well done, truly. The artwork will be waiting for you any time. Is there anyone here? It appear more guests will visit here based on the conclusions you have arrived at. Ah, it appear that everyone here is already present. That means I've gotten all endings. And everything else is straightforward. Music. Yep, all complete. So the whole painting is filled out. Gratina's works are often eerie. But they somehow captivate me. I never get tired of them. Yes, I adore Gratina. Don't you feel a lot of artists are oddballs? That you can never really tell what they're thinking? I guess they must see the world quite differently from the average person. Eve, I want the handkerchief I borrowed. If I can't get the stains out of it, I'll gladly buy you a new one. Huh? You got it from your mother? That's a birthday present. I'll get it clean no matter what it takes. You know, about Gratina's works, they've given us some dreadful memories. Yet there were some who helped us out, weren't there? I guess when you think of it that way, things aren't so different between humans and living art. Well, I mean, if the art represents the soul, then I'm assuming he wasn't a dick all the time. How do you usually spend your time, Eve? Playing with your friends? You should play plenty while you're still young. Save about Mary. I wonder what she was after in the end. She seemed different from the other more violent works, and talked to us like an ordinary person. She wanted to be a real girl! When we first met, she was just Pinocchio with a knife! I do recall she said she wanted to get out. Perhaps she really was trying to get out of that world. Okay, I guess that's kind of it. Huh, did you know, Eve? The first time your father saw a Gratina painting in a book, he had a nightmare that night. It must have had quite an impact on him. Oh, are you scared too, Eeb? Oh well, we can sleep together tonight. I've heard there are many more Gratina pieces out there. <sighs> if only I could, I'd love to see them all for myself. While well, we're at the Gratina ex exhibition, I'd like to get a souvenir. Do they have any replicas of the paintings? That wall in our entryway does look a little bare. There's a painting named Worry over there. It's kind of creepy the way it feels like it's watching me. How are you liking your first art gallery, Eve? They have a peculiar mood to them, but I think it's pretty nice. If you like this one, then we can go to another exhibition sometime, one that won't murder you. Your father may not know a lot about art, but I think I can say for sure that Gortana was one amazing guy. Oh, Eve, how's the Gortana's exhibition? It's almost too so many paintings, it's almost an ordeal to look at them all. But it's nice to just take your time and just appreciate art like this sometimes. It's like all your dialogue there. Mary. What do you want to be when you grow up, Eve? Alive. Me? I'd be a princess, or a painter, or run a cake shop, or a jewelry shop, maybe. Sorry, Mary. Looks like you grew up to be the dust on a bomb of a janitor's broom. There were a lot more, but I forgot. Eve, look at all the doors here. What do you think could be behind them? Paintings. It's so boring how only grown-ups come to galleries. Why don't kids? I mean, there's so much fun stuff here. Right? Yeah, especially that part where the girl with a knife tried to stab me. I wonder where Dad is. You know... All I have are crayons, but I want to try oil painting someday. Like my dad. Eve, your hair is so silky. Why is it mine like that? 
and Gary's hair was all limp. Is everybody's different? No, Gary's just a hipster. Oh yeah, once I met some of no hair. So I drew for them with crayon. I think they liked it. I should show you sometime, Eve. So, in the game, they actually imply that other people go into the painting world. Like, this is a normal thing. His, his place is like a death trap. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? I'm an ant. But, I'm not sure if everyone else escapes or not. They could just possibly be dying. That's cool. We might be the only ones to ever, like, get out. Yeah. Okay. Bedroom. Gray room. It's not like we're seeing anything new, it's just kinda like... We're doing kind of like a victory lap. Oh, he said like that one. Okay, star room. Orange room is end game area. But well, post game end game. The, there's a small notation of this area is kind of aquatic theme, like you never like it starts kind of flooding and everything, and you start the game by going into an aquatic painting. So I wonder if Cortana really liked water. Yeah, abyssal space. I guess it makes sense because the abyss. Final stage. This is of course the end of your life. Oops. Mary. Fabricated world. Okay, we're done there. CGs. And the funnel one. Nice. So, that's it for Eve Remake. That is all endings, as all secrets at everything. Now, I've gone back a little bit and watched my old playthrough of Eve, of the uh, 1.04 version anyways, not the original original. So, the 1.04 that added the optional dungeon, I believe, and the um, Mary endings, some other stuff like that. So the ending count has not changed. Although, I think there's new CGs, new art, some stuff like that. What's really changed majorly, aside from the the sprites have been like kind of higher resolution a bit. You know, some of the art, the coloring I think has even changed. The layout of the museum has changed quite a bit. Um, rooms make more logical sense as far as flow. Uh, but at least in the marketing, and from what I could feel, and what I checked when I w watched the original playthrough, is that they have lowered the difficulty. They, they even talk about that, like we've, the game's going to be focused more on the story. And they've added a ton more dialogue. Like, us outside of the Gary button, I think Gary commentates more in general, along with Mary. And then you have the Mary and Gary button, which is an optional mechanic, mind you. But it is tied to the affection system, hence tied into the endings a bit. So you do need to participate in that mechanic. So, the original Eve, I think, is a great RPG maker game. It's still one of the best, and even the remake is still pretty good. As far as just an upgrade to kind of bring it into the modern eyes, as far as like resolutions and stuff, a bit like the Mad Father remake, I think it's great, right? It's a good way to experience it for people who have not, and for people who are nostalgic, it's a good way to go back and things are like a little bit bigger. And overall, I think the museum looks better and flows better. I don't fully necessarily agree with the additional dialogue. I think it's great if you maybe have played the original, maybe you're like it's a little fan service to see Gary everyone talk more. 
But there's some things in the original I prefer. Uh, it looks kind of like the overall game is a little bit brighter. That's my guess, anyway. I mean, one of the biggest tells is like the main menu. Like the main menu is pretty different, and I think it's actually look a little bit less horror-like, more adventure gamey. It looks like Mary got the biggest upgrade as far as art. Uh, some of the original puzzles have been switched out or changed. I think some of the harder ones are gone, like the ones where you can die in them. And there's overall a lot less things chasing you. Like an example of the one painting room, only one painting chases you in the original. Almost all of the women paintings chase you. And it feels like their overall speed has been tuned down. So there's a light, almost like a slightly less horror atmosphere compared to the original. So I don't fully, especially with the additional dialogue, I don't fully necessarily agree with that. So in some ways, with the less is more, I think there is a bit of a downgrade. But there's also upgrades too. So for someone playing this, if they had to pick between the free version or the paid version, uh, I think Ira 1 is your best bet. Although in straightforward visuals, the uh, remake is better. Storyline-wise, it's the original story. I'm not going to commentate too much. Uh, as I played, I did kind of note, like I told you, that there is hints, and I think implications, even just from the thing the creator have said themselves, that Mary was not initially malicious. I think she might have even fought. She had a chance to kind of leave, and then when the Gary reads the book and then Tattletale talks, that's when Mary switches on and realizes, oh, I'm a painting. I gotta murder someone to get out of here. That's when she becomes more malicious. She is a malicious character overall, I believe, because what she has to do to get out is inherently on its own malicious. And she does not do it in a clean way. She does it like a cruel kid. But as we all know, in the end, the most common ending most people get first, and even the one I got first in my original playthrough back in the day, is the Gary dies ending. Mary wins. And I think one of the greatest strengths of the original Eve is that the endings aren't too convoluted. They are perfectly horribly paced, I would say. Um, because you have the, the bittersweetness where Mary technically lives, not necessarily an outright bad thing if you're a Mary fan, I guess. But it's done in such a way where, yeah, things are positive for Eve, but like, Gary is just left there in a tragic fate. And Eve's great strength for actually on the, uh, the bad ending routes. Because sad for Gary, it is kind of fitting for him to die with the way, way he is written. Although the true kind of best ending is, gives you the most catharsis as far as like, he probably saw the bad ending. You see that and you're like, oh, finally I saved Gary. You relax and you breathe, right? And I feel like that's how it went for a lot of people back in the day. Or they watched a playthrough of someone getting ending. As you can tell by my view count on the original, at like original, original version of Eve, and for all endings. The optional area, I actually think is pretty cool. It is kind of a fillery area, it doesn't necessarily add too much. But I do like the final paintings, as in the deaf dancing with the painted lady woman. And then the the final work being that the bed, essentially the depth. So you, you kind of get a slight glimmer into Gortana's mind of being immortalized through his art. You don't find exactly how he was able to do this, but he was just, I guess, just that good of an artist. And the merry endings kind of show you that the world is a little more alive than you think. It's not just, you know, other other land or some other thing that like it's all a dream. It is very much a living entity world that gets people that regularly and they interact with people, usually kill them, I'm assuming, by the end. And that there is probably an overall kind of... Maybe Gratuna himself, like, an overall spirit kind of god-like being over the world. You know, that warns men, like, hey, Mary, don't leave, you'll get stuck, you need to exchange with a person. And she gets her one bad ending. But yeah, he always great. Has to the test of time as far as RPG makers go. I explained myself a bit in the first episode of this series that it's important for the channel it is essentially the granddaddy as far as starting my channel as a mainly badass hero brand even though amnesia was kind of the first game i played under that name eve is one of the earliest videos i will upload on my channel before i delete it for anime clips and stuff <laughs> and it's nice to kind of come back full circle after all the success of the channel thanks to you all recently so it feels like kind of a weird anniversary like oh the channel is really taking off and here i am playing eve again just like the beginning right but yeah anyway so, thank you all for watching me play Eve Remake. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.